this is exciting. This is exciting. Now, I do want to invite you. You can take your mask off if you want to keep it on. You can keep it on. Okay, yeah. Your I'm, I'm, I'm going to be raving. I'm going to be raving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your <laughs> level of comfort. But it's, it's incredible because, you know, I've seen people talk about the Hulk mask yeah. and what it means for them. Right. What it represents for them to see you wear it. I'm curious for you, like, what, what has been the significance of the Hulk for you? Uh, for me, the Hulk has been, you know, especially kind of an ode to my mental health journey. Um, it's, a, it, it's been a way for me to kind of compartmentalize, uh, you know, the different parts of myself. Yeah. Um, I get to bring out the track me. I get to bring out the aggressive me, the, the dog me, the, you know, the, the Hulk side. Mm -hmm. And, you know, also Raven still has her space to be her, to deal with what she needs to deal with, you know, to be able to, you know, overcome and conquer whatever it is that she needs to deal with mentally and still, mm -hmm. you know, be a fun, happy-go-lucky twerking person. I mean, <laughs> speaking of twerking. The twerk victory, the victory twerk? That thing was thing. And that, that thing was thing. <laughs> that part. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be fun to know, it's, and, I, and I, maybe I take it back, it's, it's more than fun. It's got to be empowering to know, to finally trust that you can be you. Yes. And that is enough. Honestly, like, um, for me growing up, I, I remember, you know, watching Venus and Serena, you know, mm -hmm. when they were young, the beads, you know, the, the un man, just watching them just dominate and see them be themselves. And, you know, as time has gone on, especially, you know, me being, you know, a member of the queer community, mm -hmm. you know, just finding, seeing people become comfortable uh, in themselves is just happy to kind of be a part of, of that light, you yeah. know, be able to inspire so many, so many young kids and things like that in that, in that realm. I've seen other words about you from other uh, competitors, other athletes who have said there's no part of your journey that has been easy. Right. There's no, part, there's no facet of your personality, of your experience that has come to you on a silver platter. And so every right. time you get out there, it's right. a celebration. Right. You feel that way? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It's actually funny because uh, one of the things that I remember from the competition was uh, when, when Gong actually went uh, and she threw the 20-53, the, the winning throw. Um, I was like, thank you. I don't want nothing easy. I don't want it. I don't want it easy. Mm -hmm. And and I find that that's that's kind of how life takes us. Um, you know, especially when when you're on your way to, you know, doing so much and you know trying to inspire and be at a certain level. I find that you know God especially is going to give you and mm. He's going to throw as much your way as possible. And I find that that's really where all my strength came from. Um, and, and me pushing through all of those things is why, even in my darkest moments, I can still put a put a, put a huge smile on my face. Yeah. You, but he, and here's the cool thing about you that I find right. in, incredibly inspiring is that you, at the same time, you use your platform for you to celebrate you, right. to also r remain tied to um, the community. Oh yeah. Right. To to offer yet another opportunity to talk about and to keep front and center things right. that need to stay front and center. Your um, metal win and your arm crossing. Yes. Talking about the intersectionality of all those that that find yes. them oppressed, uh, but in particular those who find themselves oppressed in multiple areas. Right. Talk to me about why you were like, this has to happen right now. And when did you choose? <laughs> when did you decide? Because you almost feel like you know it's one of the moments you're like, yeah, nah. yeah. Um, for me, it was it's one of those things that you know for a while. I mean, really since 2016, I, I've been you know thinking about what would I do. You know, what would my really? stance be? Um, and, you know, as time went on and the athletes, we kind of decided that, you know, the X was going to be like a sign of our, our sign of, um, you know, and what, what it stood for for us. And um, leading up to that podium stand, I was like, eh, 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 eh. I, and I was like, all right, it's time. Me being a black queer female that has dealt with, you know, that deals continuously with major depression, anxiety and PTSD and those things like mm -hmm. that. Um, it was my duty. It was my duty, my obligation, because I understand that this medal is bigger than me. You know, um, this medal is, it's not just for me. You know, huh. it, it's for the community. I, I got this medal for the community. Um, and I'm just really happy to, you know, represent them and show what it's like to, you know, be unapologetic and, you know, have people really just embrace you being you when, when you're not afraid to be you. Yeah. I mean, the, the journey though to get there had to, it has to be has to. one you take very seriously oh, yeah. and one that you have to recommit to, I, w I would imagine, oh, often, yeah. right? The, the conversation, uh, this is again, and in, in, in reading a little bit about your, reading more about your story, the conversation that you were having about how you, not too long ago, right. had to pivot in your mind because you were about to make a really 
a choice that you knew wasn't the one for you. Right. Um, you know, and, and suicide. Yeah. Uh, disclaimer. Uh, yeah, 2018. Um, I was literally on the brink of committing suicide. I already had it planned, mapped out, things like that. And um, I reached out to my therapist literally um, as literally we, we talk about intersections um, as I'm on this road and there's an intersection where you get to the end of the road, you go right, you go to my house, you go left, you go to where the drop off was that I had planned on literally driving my car over. And um, she, she texted me back and literally I hadn't met with her in about eight months. I already had a new ther therapist at that point, but um, I trusted her enough to kind of let her know um, what it was I was dealing with and her reaching back out to me let me know, you know, that, you know, there's somebody that knows exactly what I'm dealing with that, you know, was able to pr honestly save my life. I still message her thanking her every day, every day, you know, all the time um, for, for saving my life. Um, she actually messaged me um, after I made the team and it, and it warmed my heart. Yeah. Um, letting me know that, you know, she's still there for me. And uh, it's one of those things that I'm greatly appreciative of. I want to commend you because I don't, I don't want this to seem like I was not looking for a soundbite. Right. I, I want to be very fine. clear. But the 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 courage it takes to even yes. muster the words, yes. right, that you just shared. Yes. I want to let you know that I appreciate your Thank candor you. because I do think that there are going to be people who are watching this who are going to be moved to take agency of their own body and mind right. and make a better choice for their life. Oh, yeah. Because they've seen you be able to do it. They've seen you take that same agency and I'll, I just want to commend you for being you. open with me enough yeah. to share that I don't take that lightly yeah. um, at all and it's it's to me also incredible to think that now yes. here you stand yes. a medalist yes silver yes. medal in, on the neck was like it's a little heavy <laughs> it's a little heavy y'all you know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> and like what that feels like for you um for me I'm very appreciative, like being able to like look out at moments like this yeah. and just thinking how different, you know, everything it could have been. been. And and one of the things that I, I've definitely held on to is like, you know, accepting, you know, a few things. One, it's going to be hard. And two, you know, you're worth it. You're worth it. You're absolutely worth it. I mean, and what's, what's funny is you on Instagram and TikTok oh, yeah. taking over. Yes. Everybody wants to dye their hair purple. <laughs> Everyone wants to dye their hair green. Yes, Everybody yes. wants to with wants the Hulk mask. For you, what was the thing? What was the inspiration behind the green and the purple? Was it the Hulk? Uh, yeah, hands down, hands down. Um, you know, the original Hulk, he had the purple shorts, the green body. Yeah. Um, so it was an ode to that, and then it also played into my Joker mask. You know, Joker green and purple too. Come on. So, so it it, it really worked itself out perfectly, and um, it, it turned out good, man. I had to touch this thing up. I don't know how many times, but <laughs> he said it was worth we it. We here, it we was here. Worth it. it was definitely worth it. Though. <laughs> Did you see the Twitter response from? Uh, I think was it the cutoff? Was it the cutoff situation? That I, I guess the broadcast had, yeah. had moved away. Man, Twitter went nuts. Man, crazy. Um, yeah, it was it was funny. Um, actually, one of my friends, uh, Shamir Little, it was funny how I saw her tweet, but she was like, "Watch uh, when Raven win this medal, she's gonna throw some grade A um, peaches." Um, right. So uh, and it was funny, yo. The next thing you know, she ended up quoting it with the gif of me twerking. I was like, Sham, you think you know me? You think you know me? <laughs> you think you know me? You, think you know me? But you yeah. was right. You yeah, was right. You was right. You was. <laughs> that I can't. I couldn't even help it. I wasn't even paying attention to the camera. I went over. Jessica and Portia was sitting there, and I was like, Hey, we did it. <laughs> I've been throwing this thing back since I was born back in the nine nines, on to the two thousand. On the two thousand. On to the two thousand. Listen, if you know, you know. Hey. And if you don't. You better ask somebody. Right. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> burn, 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 burn. Hey, see? <laughs> look. See, look what you done started. Bet y'all didn't look, know that look was. Look what you done started. Bet, bet y'all didn't know y'all gonna get an Olympic twerk. An Olympic twerk out on this balcony. <laughs> to turn uh, Tokyo out. Yes. Okay, we've been doing this thing. I'm gonna do it really quickly okay, with you. Okay. Um, called the Tokyo Take. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. If there was one person you could wish to be here uh, rooting you on in the Olympics, who would it be? My mom. Bam. Mom. Boom. Okay. Talk about a current television show. What would be the one you'd want to be cast in? Uh, I don't even know. Um, all of them. Put me in there. Hulk. Bam. <laughs>
Put me, put me in Come all on, of Steve. them. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. We got 25 seconds. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. If you were not an Olympic athlete, what would be your career? Uh, me? Um, the Hulk, bam. I don't know. Uh, that's 25 points right there. Come okay, on. Okay, okay. We're going to see what the survey says. Uh, <laughs> will you, where are you going to put your Olympic medal? Me? Mm -hmm. Um... Who else am I talking to? Uh, 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 where I'm gonna put it at? I'm, yeah, where I'm, you gonna put it? I don't even know. I need, I'm, I'm gonna probably throw it some, I don't know. I'm, You're I, not gonna take it off for a while, I feel like. Man, I, you think? This thing is heavy. This is coming off tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, the movie about your life. Who plays you? Who plays me? Who plays yep. me? What actress um, is gonna play you in the movie about your life? Uh, a new young queer woman. Ooh, a, a new face. Yes, we need a new face. You can go with a new face. New face. New okay, faces. okay, okay, okay. Uh, the most impactful advice you've been given in this Olympic journey? Uh, this Olympic journey. Um, how do you want to be remembered? How do you want to be remembered? How do you want to be remembered? How do you answer that? I mean, it's complex because there's so many... Throwing it up. Out there, Thank you. <laughs>